everybody, your girl is back with another episode and today I'll be reviewing these Air Jordan 1 High 85s and I am so juiced about it. They're a super clean colorway, super fresh cut with the 85 style and the silhouette and I am a huge fan. So the only thing that I was super disappointed about with this release was that from size 3.5 all the way up to 18, it was one price point. And so your girl is a size 4 in boys and it was the same price as someone who's like a size 18 in men's, right? It was absurd. It's like on some Yeezy stuff. I thought it was so crazy. And so I was able to hit on these on the sneakers app. It's clearly not my size. This was the only one I was able to hit on because I feel like my size was super limited. And the other size here was in toddlers and so they had their own price point but they're like this small. It was so crazy to me. I know a lot of folks are tempted to call it the Panda 1s, Panda Jordan 1 Highs. No, that's not the name of it. It's called the Air Jordan 1 High 85s in the black and white colorway. Just call it the black and white colorway for the Jordan 1s. Nothing wrong with that, right? Just call it the color of the shoe. The box that it came in is the inverse of what Jordan brand releases for the Jordan 1s. Usually it's the all black box with the red Nike and the swoosh on the top lid and throughout the bottom part of the box. This time around, it was the inverse, so it's all red with the black Nike and the swoosh. So slight variation, I think all of the high 85 silhouettes have that shoe box. And the tissue paper is slightly different too, there's some more design to it. This shoe looks super fresh, so let's go to some details. Again, this is the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the black and white colorway. And the reason why it's called the 85 is that it's the truest reissue of the 1985 construction. So this silhouette is pretty much identical to what was released in 1985. It has the higher collar, the wider toe box. And this shoe also comes with the return of this premium hang tag that's included with the shoe. It goes over some of the key features and functionalities of the sneaker and the technology that's behind it. So for this shoe here, it's two-tone, it's monochromatic, the toe cap, mud guard, eye stays, swooshes on both the lateral and medial side, heel as well as ankle flaps. It's made out of a really soft and smooth black leather. And then for the perforated toe box as well as the quarter panels behind the swooshes and the top of the collar, it's made out of a very soft white leather. Imprinted on the lateral side of the ankle collar is the classic Air Jordan Wings logo and this is in white. For the tongue of the shoe is the classic Air Jordan 1's tongue. It has the cushioned nylon material and it's in white. Same color for the trim. And then sitting at the top of the tongue, there is a white tongue tag. Nike Air with a swoosh is embroidered on in black. And then per usual, these Air Jordan 1 highs come barely pre-laced. So this colorway comes with the cotton flat black laces and then they also come with an alternative set here. These are cotton flat white laces. So you can switch it up and swap them out if you like. For the inside of the shoe, the mesh liner is in black. And then for the insole, it's in white with the Nike Air and the swoosh imprinted at the heel in black. This shoe has the Nike Air Sole system and the Air Sole is encapsulated in the polyurethane. For the midsole on these shoes, it's in a white bright color a bright white color. And then for the outsole on these shoes, this is the classic outsole silhouette for the Air Jordan 1s. Radio traction at the forefront, Nike with the swoosh embossed midfoot. It's completely murdered out. And I always say this is the best outsole silhouette in the game. You can't change my mind and I am a huge fan. The shoe is super fresh. The colorway is so versatile. You could rock them with anything, rain, sleet, or shine. I'm a high top type of girl, so these are definitely my style. So let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.